Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys of girls of all ages, and welcome to my playthrough of Sonic 3 and Knuckles Complete. I am your host, Nobody, and I will be taking you on your guide through the Lava Reef Zone. Stay close today, because it's hot, it's humid, it boils over, the rock is literally melting off the walls, and you're surrounded by a bunch of spiky douchebag robots who want to steal your rings. They're hard-earned rings, mind you, and you work hard for them, so you shouldn't let these robots take them. Unfortunately, I'm not good at that. So, don't forget to tip your tour guide on the way out. I need some extra lives. Anyway, after that little bit of uh, absolutely terrible humor that really went nowhere. God, why do I even try? <laughs> Ugh. I make myself cringe, but apparently that makes other people laugh, so who knows? Anyway, so today we're going to be running through Lava Reef Zone, Acts 1 and 2, and I like Lava Reef Zone. I like the music. I like the look. I like the look of the second act better, but I like the look. I like the general vibe that they've got going on with <laughs> the dark green and tan, and then the blue and green in the next one. The wall looks really, really nice. And the red adds a nice, the red lava with the pipes adds a nice accent to the aesthetic. It's really cool. I don't know. The aesthetics in games are something that I enjoy. And. Oh, I love that effect. Just lava randomly pouring down. Even though I don't think that's how it would work in real life. But we can pretend. I mean, this is a video game. Stupid drill! The thing is annoying. And it looks exactly like the thing in Marble Garden Zone, except it's got a different drill bit. And it's got four instead of two. Well, it's, it's a similar design, okay? It's Mark II. Don't, don't hate. Appreciate. I guess. I don't know. Oh, if you go to your right, right there, with that little platform, you'll find a super ring. We'll uh, see it next time, because I'm going to come back through here with an extra life. But, um... Yeah! At least I think it's that one. I'm pretty sure it's that platform. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's that one. So, if you couldn't already guess, the best shield to have in this game, or not in this game, in this level particularly, would be the fire shield. It is absolutely imperative that you get it if you're not great at being able to platform jump. Or you're just terrible with dealing with uh, most of the enemies in this level. It basically turns the entire level into easy mode as long as you still have the shield. Fire doesn't hurt you. Explosions don't hurt you. And that's like three of the enemy. That's like most of the enemy types in the games. And most of the obstacles that you're going to encounter. You can actually walk on lava. In fact, having the fire shield will actually prove to be the most useful tool you could have during the uh, boss fight for Lava Reef Zone Act 2. And if I remember correctly, I actually had one. And I tried to do the fight legitimately, but I could not. Oh, God. <laughs> it was just so fucking hard. Having a fire shield makes this boss fight of Act 2 with Eggman a complete joke. Honestly, the uh, mini boss for fi Lava Reef really isn't that interesting either. If I'm being completely honest. And I want to make sure I'm remembering that it's the right one. Because I'm pretty sure that it's the giant hand. And the giant hand Redo! is annoying. Very, very, very annoying. I don't like the giant hand. I can, it, it's basically like a mini version of the final boss of the game, but instead of two hands, it's one. Instead of the hands being the first part, it's the second part. But you destroy it in basically the same way, more or less. I don't know, I feel like if the hands in Act 2 of Lava Reef Zone, uh, how, do I, how do I explain this? I feel like... The Lava Reef Zone Midway boss is originally a scrapped idea for the uh, final boss 
because uh, I don't know. It's it's a little weird. But this is the room where you can find the super ring. It's right above you, and there's another entrance right above here. When you reach the top part, just jump against the wall. Or when the uh, platform reaches the top of its um, height raise, jump into the wall and hold right, and you'll enter a small room, which will take you right into the uh, super ring. And then you'll drop down onto that room with the uh, ring box. And then you got another Super Emerald, or Chaos Emerald, I guess it depends on which game you're playing. Because technically this is a... Excuse me. A standalone game, too. Eesh. It's a bit late today. Fire bad, double jump good. Also, having the ability to pull in rings is really good. Unfortunately, I did not get 50 rings. Because those little fucking worm bastards just come completely out of the wall. At random. I didn't expect it! And as you can see, we just made a giant loop. Only last time we went all the way to the left and we got an extra life for it. Now we're stopping right before we get to the edge. And we're continuing the level. Strange how that works, isn't it? Damn it, Tails. I blame you for that. Actually, I blame Tails for a lot of things. Holy crap, how did I survive that? You know, I feel like I would have done a lot better if I wasn't as slow on this part. But I mean, at least having that little bit of invincibility does help. Where it's not like an instant death. Isn't Mario Lava an instant death? I think it is. I could be wrong, but I think it's an instant death. Ooh, excuse me, I'm trying not to yawn, but I'm tired. I've had a long day. Music for Lava Reef Zone is probably the best part, honestly. I don't know why, but... Which is strange, because when I first heard this, I really, really did not like it. And that's not to say it's bad, but it just... The whole underground cavern theme, I just wasn't... Wasn't behind it, wasn't digging it. And then, when I started to listen to it, it's that... It's this part right here, with the, uh... The, uh, synth. It's this part right here that actually made me really start to like it. And we've reached the boss! It's two tentacles, and they shoot three balls at you. And then the hand comes up, and it tries to crush you. If you can avoid getting crushed by the hand, you'll be fine. Because, realistically, avoiding... It, the hardest part about avoiding those shots from the uh, tentacles is... Uh, the honest-to-God hardest part about avoiding the shot from those tentacles is you can't see them on the background that easily. Great. Redo! Okay, round two. It might be more than round two, but we're just gonna call it round two. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, and fuck this hand. You know, I have to honestly ask, where is the rest of the robot? Or did Eggman literally just build this into a platform that he stuck under the rocks? Is that how this works? Like, where, where's the rest of the robot? And more importantly, why did he give it a hand? Like, I get that asking for the specifics of why Eggman builds the robots the way he does in a Sonic game isn't exactly, you know, the smartest thing to do. But, I mean, give me some credit here. Why? It doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense. Like, at least in Hydra City, he made freaking whirlpools. Okay, that made sense. In Angel Island, he sent... In Angel Island, he tried to burn you. I mean, he lit the stage on fire, so, I mean, that kind of made sense. In Carnival Night Zone, he played with electricity, which, I guess, since the carnival uses electricity, that works. Electricity and magnets, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And with Marble Garden, it was terraforming the entire place. But what's he doing here? What do you need a hand and tentacles for? On a lava backdrop in a game out of Japan? <laughs> There's a lot of things that could be used for. 
But with that, we finished Act 1, 10 minutes in, and hopefully Act 2 will be quicker. It probably won't, but I mean, I can pretend. Lava Reef Zone Act 2, an even better version of the first one. Music was. See, this I enjoy, and I don't know why. I don't know, that's the thing. Music is, like, my biggest thing in life, and I don't know why I like the things I do, but I just know I do, and that's why I listen to it. So it's really hard to explain to people why I don't like something, because it's usually not because, oh, the tempo's too fast, or I just don't like that genre, or I'm not a fan of rap, or, you know, there's nothing like that. It's because there are things that I like that... Like, I'm not a rap guy, but I like a lot of Dwayne and Brando. And if you're into any type of the video game music, you should know who they are. But, you know, I like a lot of Dwayne and Brando. And I like Beastie Boys, but I don't necessarily like rap as a genre. So I say I don't like rap, and then people are like, why don't you like rap? I don't know why I don't like rap, I just don't. But I like things that you could consider rap. But... Like Eminem and Lil Wayne and Waka Flocka Lemon Juice, whatever the hell you want to call them. All these freaking weird names. Waka Flocka Lemon Juice. Shit. I could make an entire video dedicated to making fun of rapper names, but I'd have to make the same video dedicated to making fun of like rock band names which I mean I could do some of my favorite bands have some really really stupid names <laughs> like the who <laughs> and what the fuck is an aerosmith is that someone who makes airplanes like that's what I would think like blacksmith makes like swords and shit no he doesn't make black people you racist if you want to take it literally I guess he does but you know like, what's Aerosmith? Is that like a airplane smith? Or do you make air? Or do you make just, or, you, or do you just make aerodynamics? Like, and how do you get the name The Beatles? It's a pun. Like, what are you, insects? I mean, they're British, so... They're a British band that formed in Germany. And their name is a pun. And by all intents and purposes, they're basically a boy band. I don't know. I'm not much of a big fan of the Beatles. I like some of their songs, but I'm not, like, the world's largest Beatles fan. I... A lot of people consider the Beatles, like, the greatest rock band on the face of the earth, and I do not. I consider them the godfathers of modern rock as you know it today, more or less. But... Just because you started a movement does not mean you're the best at the movement. At that point, we may as well consider, I don't know, what were the uh, four original NFL teams? Or what were the four original football teams in America? They're the best because they're the oldest. By default, that means England's the best because it's older than America. But as an American, I don't subscribe to that mindset. But I'm not going to... That's just, you know, typical... I like my country more than I like that country. So, it's just an opinion. I don't really honestly think there's any measurable difference between them that I want to go into. Because, I mean, I could sit here and talk about the differences between America and Britain all day long. There'd be a lot of differences, and Britain has some things better. America has a better entertainment industry. But, uh, aside from that, I don't really... There's no point to it. They're just countries. And I like mine better because I live here. So. And as we reach the top of the level of Act 2, Knuckles decides to push us into the boss fight. This is... The last three acts in the game all have boss fights that have multiple... Uh, what's the phrase I'm looking for? Multiple gimmicks to them. Oh... 
And also, interesting enough, I actually did this particular part of the freaking uh, boss fight on the first try, which is something I've never done before. I felt good about that. <clears throat> and I don't even have a fire shield. Some of you might be saying to yourself, well, that's not that hard. Well, it was for me, so I feel accomplished. Unfortunately, just because it was proud for me doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be good at it. Ooh. That sounds like some bad thunder. It's storming outside. But uh, we have to wait for this platform to descend into the lava before the boss fight can begins. But once it gets there, Eggman will pop out of the right side of the screen. And what he does is he lobs three spike balls into the air. They drop down near the platforms that you're supposed to jump on. And they slide into Eggman. So he essentially damages it himself. Well, if you have the fire shield, this becomes a lot easier because you're not bound to standing on the platforms. You can stand wherever you want. As long as it's not on a spike ball. Unfortunately, as uh, I just demonstrated, it's kind of easy to lose it because the spike balls will line up with the platforms and um, they do poke through, which is kind of annoying, but you know, whatever. And I think he takes 12 hits. It's either 10 or 12 and we got nine on him so far. I think it's 12. Could be wrong. 11, 12. It might be 16. I don't know why it would be that, but it might be. At least I'm pretty sure we got... Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. Redo! That sucks. Damn it! <laughs> uh, unfortunately... Even if you do have the fire shield, this boss can still prove to be a uh, bit of a pain in the rear end. Really, the only way you're going to get past every boss in this game with relative ease is if you get the Chaos Emeralds. Which is the reward. You spent the time in the special stages, so you get to cheese the bosses. But I'm not doing that. For this one. I might do it for another one. But not this one. But, you can see we got three hits, and you know, I'll even count them this time, just to make sure. Four. Five. Six. That is six hits. And now we go. Seven. Eight. Nine. Although, is the last one actually damaging him? Because his face turns, but his thing doesn't light up. Is there, he turns his face like he's getting hit, but he doesn't... Or the machine doesn't light up. 10. 11. 12. It might be 14 hits, actually. 14 sound, right? 13. It is 14. Why did I say 16? <laughs> Thank you, Tails, for saving my life. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed episode whatever one this is, Lava Reef. And I will catch you next episode when we tackle what is the secret? I guess we'll see.